Today's video is brought to you by... Skillshare! If you're anything like me, you've probably found the need to maybe expand your potential knowledge, the things you're able to do, and the things that you maybe you just want to do, and just tinker with and dabble in. Well, Skillshare, as the name may suggest, would be able to share said skills with you that you want to find more out about. I mean, there's whole things you could choose from. Illustration, graphic design, photography, creative writing, animation, fine art, it has quite a fair few. But if you're aware of my performance over the years on this channel, then I think the one that I'd need to excel in is a productivity. Getting a big old F in that for the most part. So if you were to go to the link on screen, slash click it down below in the description, you'd actually be in for a chance yourself of getting access to this for two months for free. It's an unlimited access trial, so there's no hidden boundaries or invisible walls. You will be able to get to what you want to get to within those two months. And again, that is to the first 500 people who click said link in the description below. And for a little bit more of a detailed thing about the productivity class, productivity today, managing attention in the digital age, given what my weakness is, as said, uh, this may just be the thing to help. I could boil it down to the ridiculously simple, which is eliminate your distractions and make sure to just actually streamline your workspace so it, you see the work in front of you, you get it done, create a, an actual positive routine where you get it done first ahead of time as opposed to leaving it to last second. But those cliff notes don't really do it justice because that's the point of the Skillshare thing itself, doing it in depth and giving you the proper actual way to work on that. And, and make it work for you. Guys, without saying this helps a whole bunch for me, although, given the fact I now have a fair few editors more than I did previously, uh, the productivity goes more onto the recording and streaming side of things than the editing, and saves my brain. So, if you happen to find yourself wanting to expand said knowledge in things like creative writing or film and video, or again, if you're, a, if you're a procrastinator like me, the productivity, then quite quickly click the link below to get a chance at that free two-month trial, and it's only really $10 a month after that anyway. Thanks again. Right then. Well, I found a mod that's actually interesting. It's a, it's a Geralt of Rivia mod, or is it Gerald? I don't know, but it's definitely Witcher. I can pronounce that one. Look how happy he is. You, you know the one. You know Gerald. You know the, the happy smiley man, along with his happy smiley wolf head. Right, there I am. I actually look pretty fantastic, even though <laughs> from the side it looks as if I have a sea slug on my head. I'm actually impressed, because it's a sword. It's melee. It has glyphs that all do different things. I didn't read what they did, because, well, I'm an idiot. Let's drop it and see if it tells me. Uh, XE intensity up. That's cleared everything up. Perfect. Screw you. Oh, he's not dead. Are you serious? Okay. I if Geralt can't kill a fat man in just one swing, I fear for the future of what's about to happen. I'm looking forward to the bosses that come right down on my butthole. So, like, it hurts them. You've got to be stood perfectly still in order to use it. Oh, and then you can spam it because, you know, I put debug aid on because I am testing this out. Uh, excuses? Yes. Well, then you prick. He's... Stunned. Alright, what's how powerful's Igni then these days? It's weird. This has like a bit of a, a problem activating when moving sometimes, but you know, considering the fact that it just did an absolute butt ton of damage, I'm not mad about that in the slightest bit. So I'll take my tears and shot speed up, especially seeing as that's, you know, making me <laughs> swing considerably quicker. I know I just went through a fight without swinging at all, but shh. Yep, it's just a slow effect. I'm alright with it. <laughs> <I really don't laughs> The way they were casually cut down then. <laughs> How much damage does this even do? To, it's, it's not a lot of damage. That's a kind of shame. You know, this laser defense is really making mincemeat of this poor boy. I just turned that boy into Monster on Bowley. <laughs> I kind of feel a little bad, but uh, I'm a little angel. What are you going to do? My halo disappeared. Oh, what do you know? It's like the actual series of the past four years. Well, the fuck's Halo Infinite? <laughs> What the fuck's this when it's at home? A reward as I progressively progress? Oh! Now it charms them instead, instead of just stunning them. And now they're all charmed and they're just killing each other because they're dumb. Ooh. Oh my god, the, <laughs> the knockback's a bit forceful on these poor things. Does the segment-based thing get affected by melee weaponry? It seemingly does. Oh, I say melee weaponry as if this game doesn't just make it a static projectile that's on screen for like two frames instead of many more. Oh, and the holy water actually helped. Me walking in front of Chubb and <laughs> That was one percent and I got it. Oh, don't worry though, it fucking blue balls! Hey! At least the pills weren't a complete load of cod swallop. Uh, nope. 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 Okay, what fucking trickery is this? Turn it on and off again? Oh, what? Well, <laughs> when all else fails. <laughs> I didn't expect that to work. I'm glad it did. I love how fire in this game, as simple as the fire is, is just as true to any other game where it just shits the frames right down into the ground. Oh, that was a grand idea, Brett. That's it. Yeah, blow up the fucking explosive inside your brainium. 
Oh, and then the... Oh, what the fuck? Excuse me, that pill was over here, and in a frame, it was on the other corner of the screen. Uh, bloody loss with Witcher? That seems far too fucking perfect to pass up. Come on, you fuck! <laughs> That was the dumbest thing you could have possibly done. <laughs> wow, the damage of these fucking defense lasers are immense! Holy hell! <sighs> Look at that crying boy! Look at him! It's magic mushroom time. Do you think I care? I don't. Oh my god, and it made my eyes weird. Wait! The sword itself literally doesn't hurt at all. It's just the slash projectile. Fucking no wonder I've been missing so many fucking things! Oh, for God's sake. You proud of yourselves? Taking up a room and wasting my time? Yeah, you look about as goddamn miffed about you existing as I am. Enjoy your life together, yet always apart. Christ, that's depressing. Was it? Oh, yeah, lovers. <laughs> Do you know what? Geralt getting that card, considering his romances, mm, makes sense. Oh, oh, actually helping me. I mean, granted, I've got magic mushroom, so I didn't even get the damage buff majorly, but yeah, it's the thought that counts, right? If I hadn't cheated, it still would have gone well. That's the moral of the story. <laughs> Cheaters win? Oh boy, that's, that's not a good moral of a story. Cut that! Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Did my uh, explosives... Explosives? I make a record for the stupidest sounding fake word I come up with every day. <laughs> you ain't funny. Not even slightly. You ever going to turn up? I'm sorry, what the fuck? Did I use my force attack and that killed the mother's hand when she was above me because not a single one descended or died? All right, <laughs> the force feels pretty good for destroying those bloody time-wasting assholes. I don't think Loki's horns is ever going to proc with this, I said. Until seemingly Loki's horns doesn't proc on a directional basis, but starts swishing its sword like it's a happy little willy in the wind, pissing into a gutter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and suddenly, as I made the fucking analogy of it being a willy in the wind, it even turned to piss colored this room. I'm fuck, I'm a genius. That one fucking went twice in the same time, what the- Okay. The rules tend to change quite frequently. Do you want to see if I can break you out of the room? Ah, <laughs> nearly! Wait, hang on. Mother, attack me. Yeah, look, it does damage when they're above you. <sighs> and Parasite allows me to shoot as well. Maybe if I got some bombs, that would shoot them. I mean, we've got some bombs. Uh, Dr. Fetus uh, thinks. Let's test it, because I'm bored. <laughs> Well, not bored. Uh, did you, not having no fun with this, just more of a... You know I do like it when the synergies pop the fuck off and break shit. Alright, I got Dr. Fetus, which does not throw shit. But a pan doing that, it uh, doesn't at all. Well, burning bus! Nope, burning bus doesn't work. Okay, so Parasite's the way to just spurt out some projectiles, but I'm not sure how to customize them and make them what I want quite yet, but believe me, I'm a man of many attempts and tries. I'm, I'm not known to give up. <laughs> Come on! You can't do shit against me! I destroy your projectiles immediately! That is honestly awesome. I don't know why I really enjoy that so much, but I really do. Like, bullet hells are just nothing. You just stand on them, swipping and swiping, and next thing you know, not a fucking thing happens. You know what? We don't often fight us, but real quick, I'm gonna give him a visit. Don't worry, not gonna waste an entire minute on the prick. He's boring as fuck, we can all agree on that. I just wanna see if I can make his bullet hell a bullet haven. Even though that just, you know, sounds like that's where the bullets go to put the feet up and maybe have a spa treatment, but shut up. Envy's enmity, heads up. <laughs> Please tell me if this orbital gets hit at any point, it duplicates and splits around me until I have an entire Saturn's ring of envy faces looking like that. Please tell me that's what's gonna happen. Oh, and it creates a halo. Well, when I said around me, I meant like, you know, directly around me, but that's much better. Also, wowzers. This damage. And yeah, I can just stand here. It doesn't even matter a fucking damn at all. All right, nobody actually cares about you, Hush. We're leaving now. Like, you you are literally the most boring thing known to man. People literally turn the video off when you arrive. So I'm out. Oh, that's the stage. You know, 10 hyphen. That's the fucking one. I left him because, you know, I, what's he going to do about it? Shout at me? <laughs> Let me just get a gander on this one. Let's shoot this, please. Ow. And then you shoot it again. And then there's more. Then you shoot it again. And then there's more. Then you shoot it. No, that is the maximum. Good to know, as I nearly fucking die. Good grief. Fuck you. Yeah, you fucking get over there. You gonna fucking do about that? Eh? Gonna get out the corner? <laughs> you fucking can't. Oh, there you go. Oh, I can. The end of the perfect somehow. Okie dokie. See, I feel bad, but it's haunt. Why would I ever feel bad about that? He's not actually that bad in the board game, for the record. 
Four Souls is actually a bit of a pushover. He's actually a bit of a bitch. All right, what's this? Enhanced Quen. We'll fucking see how enhanced that is when I get it off my ass. Oh, you speaking of ass, these items. Oh, Jesus Christ, that became violent. I forgot because he's segmented it a trigger that many times. Christ, like a fucking thunderstorm. I've gone from Geralt to Thor. This is a fucking awesome character mod. Just in case I haven't stated it enough, it doesn't synergize to a massive ridiculous degrees, but you apply something you'd think nothing of and it ends up being pretty fucking cool. Also, this new item, I don't know where it's from, the envious head thing. It wasn't called uh, something or other. Oh, fuck it, no, bite me. I don't know if that's from Repentance or the core game with the booster pack. I don't know, but I'd say it's probably Repentance. With what? Revelations. Every fucking mod and expansion for this starts with R-E. Rebirth, repentance, fucking hell. The glyphs alone are super fucking cool with the way they act and the way you're rewarded with enhanced versions of them the more you actually succeed. Like, it's super fucking cool and I think it's ra random. Sweet, merciful, fucking execution. That was... Oh, that's a little bit rancid. That was a little bit nasty. Well, I forgot I had bloody lust, meaning the longer I stay in here murdering your lovely little friends, the more you yourself... Ow! Get murdered. I say, standing in the gaping chasm of pain. So, after fucking conquering God knows how many things, and you know what, for once I think I'll treat myself and have to go on to delirium after smashing the shit out of you! Okay. It just spawned right inside me and ended my game. <laughs> well, this run actually had something in common with Geralt in the end. <laughs> Given his fucking romantic side always screwing him over, I got done in by a chest. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this. If you want to watch another one, then please do. And if you enjoyed it, then do hit the like button. It always helps the channel a whole bunch. Feel free to catch the streams on Twitch. And thank you very much to the patron for supporting in any shape, way, or form. And to the VIP specifically. Jason Whitaker, David Beasley, Mika, Adam Kastorf, Compass Rose, Zach Rateau, Austin J. Forver, Sir Facebook, Mr. Hennies, Man, Kryos, and AJ. And Spencer Deman. Thank you very motherfucking much. And again, appreciate you for watching this. It goes a long way. And I hope to see you in the next one.